Hi, this is Kyle, and I just felt like sharing something that I've been doing lately that's been really helpful for my healing and my expansion and my connection to the present moment and to source. Um, it might seem corny and basic, but it's been um, really big for me, and I thought maybe I could open up something for you or encourage something, but I just love to go for walks at night with no technology, long walks. And in my walks, I like to just talk to God, just on the walks all alone, bringing up fears, you know, questions, insecurities, and just saying them out loud to the air. And, and it's almost like I'm bringing these repressed feelings up to the light, up to my light, up to the universe's light. It's not like I need to bring it up to someone else. It's not like I need to have someone sit with me and go, yeah, I have that too, or anything. I just say it out loud. And I'll just say things like, you know, um, what do you want from me? I don't know what to do. Why, why do we all need to experience so much chaos right now? Like, you know, I, I feel scared I won't be loved or I feel lost. And when I say it out loud, for me, what I notice is as that energy comes up, it kind of evaporates. And then I just take in a deep breath and noticed that I'm still loved right here, even without the answer. And the more I ask those questions, the more I discover that I don't necessarily need an answer. In other words, there's this implication that there is something I'm supposed to know or something I'm supposed to do. And the more that I allow myself to ask these questions um, out loud, it's like I'm taking these things and, and bringing them up and seeing the questions and it's almost like it shows me what's under these questions which is a deeper insecurity or a deeper um you know unseen energy that's in my stomach or something in my body that's scared or feels like it has never been really seen before it hasn't been seen by me or this moment or love you know and every time I just talk about it and go, I, I just feel lost. I feel stuck. I feel scared I'm not doing enough. I feel confused. I feel unseen. I then take in another deep breath and it's almost like those questions evaporate and then I'm still here and I'm still loved. And I have to just tell you, you know, the power of just taking the energies that we are scared to just bring up even in front of ourselves little things that we feel shame or stuck or scared about and to just say them out loud and just it's almost like you're you're presenting them to the universe to be held and loved and you're saying help me with this and one of the biggest moments I remember when I was in the darkness retreat, there was 10 days where I was in pure darkness, no cell phones, nothing. And I remember one night where something felt really stuck and I remember just like wanting to get rid of it. There was some energy in my body that just felt so sad and so depressed. And I remember getting on my knees and saying, I don't know what to do. And the energy went, you're right, you don't. And it came in and it took it. And it goes, it's not your job to do anything surrender to me let me take care of this let me love you i got it the space said to me i got it stop trying to do it all i got it stop trying to fix it all i got it this energy has got it. And our job is to not try to egoically fix everything and basically declare to this space that we got it. I don't need your help, God. I don't need your help, the universe. 
And life gets more and more painful if we don't invite the now energy in to join us, to collaborate with us, to take over, to help. So just an invitation, it doesn't feel bad. It's not a bad thing to tell God, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck, I'm scared, I'm trapped, I'm lost. And then take a deep breath and realize you're still loved, even if those feelings come up. And if you're still loved, then maybe those feelings won't be there anymore. Make those feelings okay. So much love to you. Thanks for watching this.